Welcome to Java Programming. In this video, I'll be discussing about how to design a Java graphical user interface design for login application, a simple login application. For example, I want to create a, a window with the login uh, screen where I need to get the username and I want to get password and button I need to provide button so when I click when the user click the button I want to verify the user name and password some password we can compare some password username we can compare if it is equal if it is an authorized user we can display a message login successful otherwise we can display a login failed message we can display now let's see how we can do that using Java swing um, framework for creating a, a frame window with login components so first we need to create a project then let's add one java class let's name it as login gui so we have to include main method so now the java class is created inside java class we need to import java swing framework so java x dot swing dot star the same way we need to import java dot awt for working with the font and the colors and all and we need to import java.awt.event package for uh, for handling the button click event so these three package we need to include so after that we can create a frame window first to design a login screen first we need to create a frame using jframe class frame equal to new jframe login window we can give the title as login window then uh, as usual we need to set the size of the frame window set size we have you can give a size 500 400 next we need to display the frame window in the screen by using set visible true then we can do the close operation also set default using set default close operation jframe dot exit on close then very important thing is we need to set the layout as null so that we can position the text box in wherever as per our choice we can display the text box in any places so for that i'm going to um, remove the layout by you setting the layout as null now let's st start with the design first we need to create a username text then one text box then password text another one text box this is text is uh, created by using j label component this is done by using j text text box text field so first we need to, we need a j label we can create l1 equal to new j label inside label we have to display username so after creating a j label next we uh, we can position this j label to position we have to use set bounds method so set bounds method first we need to give the x axis we can initially we start with the 100 comma 100 then height and width we can give so uh, width i am going to specify as uh, 100 and height is 25 next we can display this label in the frame by calling add function l1 now this will be displayed and we can see that by executing this program now in this program we can see the username is 
displayed here then we have to create one text box so we can create using j text field class t1 equal to new j text field so uh, size of the text field we can give uh, let's try with uh, 15 then we can use set bounds so now here i want to place the text box after this label after this label i want to place the text box so uh, 100 is x axis any x axis i need to change so we can change as 201 y axis is say, same only 100 and width we can increase the width of the text box little bit 125 height is 25 let's try 25 next we can display the text box in the screen by using add function so now we'll be getting the text box run the program So resize the window you can see the text box here so username and the text box the same way we have we need to create password and text box so we can take the same code and we can modify that variables and all this is l2 and this is l2 first modify the variable name this is t2 and t2 and t2 then we can customize this uh, this one as password label and set bounds the password should come below the username label so uh, i need to change the y axis of this one so how to change y axis we can change 150 and here also the text field j text field i need to change the y axis to 150 so that it will come below the first text box right now here one important thing is when we type password in the in the password box the data whatever we are typing it should not be displayed right it should not be displayed in that box so we need to use instead of text field what we have to use is j password field so there is one class called j password field here also we need to change it to password field so that uh, when we type something in the in this, in this box it will not be displayed in the text box right so secretly uh, it will protect the visibility also so no one can see when we type the password so we'll be getting a password box by using this now we'll test this program by executing this Now when we type something inside this password box look at this nothing is visible by default you'll get dot 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 character only okay whatever you type it is invisible right so like this we can create a password box next we can create a login button below the text box so we can create a login button so j button btn equal to new j button inside you can use login then you can use a set bounds set bounds using set bounds you can position the button i want to below that uh, i want to keep the button below the password box this is a password box below the password box i want to keep so same x axis 201 the y axis i need to change uh, increase 50 so i'll be getting the password below the text box right so here you can see gradually y axis is gradually increasing 150 200 so the button comes to the comes below the password field next frame dot add inside btn now the button is created so we'll uh, run the program so when uh, when the program is executed you can see button login button is coming right so now we can uh, type some data for example arul 
and here we can type welcome password welcome so when we click the button i want to verify the first the text box is some admin or not admin or assume that i'm going to assume uh, admin admin is the valid password okay admin and uh, one password so let us assume that user the valid password username is admin and the password is for example abc123 okay uh, capital letter abc some special symbol okay this is the password so i want to verify whether the username and password is admin or and password is matching or not so how will you do that so when i click the button i want to check so for that we need to write event handling for the button to write event handling we have to use add action listener inside we have to create one object for action listener no not object implementation class for action listener we have to create anonymous implementation class public void then we have to implement the function called action performed So like this. So this is a, a general format of writing a button uh, action, even handling mechanism. Add action listener, new action listener. We need to create one class, implementation class, and object also. So this line will create implementation class first. Then it will create object for the implementation class, right? So it's a shortcut code. So now when we click login button. Th this function action performed function will be called so here we need to read the username and password the username pass username we have to read and password we have to read okay so first i'm going to store the username in a variable username equal to t1 dot get text so this will give the username then i want to read the password from password field also so password fields field is t2 right so t2 dot when we use get text right when we use get text okay uh, we are getting a string right look at this so we can use this method by using this method we can read the password so password is equal to t1 dot get Sorry, get text okay sorry not t1 t2 okay but this get text only usually we used to write for reading the password from the password box but this function is an outdated function so instead of this we can use there is one more function called t2 dot get password there is a function called get password that get password will return an array array of characters get password will return array of characters so uh, this array of character we can convert as a string okay so for that first we need to create one string constructor inside we have to call get password function so this is the right way to read the password and convert as a string format now we got a username and password we can compare this username password with this value admin and this password value so how to compare what if condition username dot equals so don't use equal to equal to operator you have to use equals method for comparing two strings so first we need to compare the username with admin and we need to compare the password with password dot equals we need to compare with this password so here i have a password abc123 abc dollar so if both are matching we can display one alert dialog box we can display one pop up dialog box this is called a pop up dialog box this box we can create by using j option pan dot show message dialog show message dialog first argument we have to give frame window the next argument we have to display 
the message what message we have to display login successful so we can use a login successful suppose if the username is and password is not matching we have to display one error message to display error message we can use same j option pan dot show error message we can use so show we can use show show uh, message dialog and we can change the error message okay we can change as error message frame and we can display error message so how to display error messages login failed we can say use j option pan dot error message okay so this will show one error message box but here one more thing we need to give first we need to give a title uh, title we have to give and message login failed so there's a slight difference this is a normal success message this is a error message so error message first we need to give a title and message and the type also you have to mention j option pair pair dot error message so that you'll get a error message logo you'll get okay so before executing we'll there is one more uh, mistake so this title should come second third argument so first one is a message the next one is a title title of the window okay so error log message is login field okay then the type of the box error box okay right so now we can execute one more time So now uh, look at this output here I'll keep it I'll give admin and the password I'm going to copy this password I'm going to enter the password when I click that I'm getting login successful okay if I change the password instead of this if I type some other password login failed you're getting error message login failed Right. So this is about how to create a login window by using Java Swing graphical user interface design. With a message box, pop-up dialog box, pop-up dialog box created by using J option pan dots show message dialog and this one error box you can create in this way. This third argument is a title of the error box. So that's all about how to create a login screen using Java Swing 